Good morning. Welcome to our Math 10 um, discussion. Our first topic is all about permutation. Yours truly, Journal Peace Penelia LPT. So we have here the following standards. For the Canton standard, the learner demonstrates understanding of key concepts of combinations and probabilities. So we're uh, discussing here uh, how to combine, uh, how many possibilities will be there when we are combining um, things or stuffs and determining the probability of the possibility. For the performance standard, the learner is able to use precise counting technique and probability in formulating conclusions and making decisions. For the objectives, one, illustrates the permutation of objects. Two, derive the formula for finding the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time, and three solve problems involving permutations. But now this discussion focuses on objective number one, illustrates the permutations of objects. So let's investigate. One morning, Anton went to the school canteen to buy a snack. He found his classmates Mac, Antonia, Kevin, Mark, Carlos, and Manny already there queuing to buy their own snacks. While waiting in line, Anton is thinking of what to order. Question. How many ways can he choose snack with a drink and a meal given the following choices? And how many ways can he choose his meal from three available options? These are the uh, menu. This is the menu and the cafeteria. We have two categories for the drink, bottled water and fruit juice. For the meal, veggie burger, pancake, and pan seed. So, in order to find the possibility or the number of possibility, he can choose a snack with a drink and a meal. We will, first thing to do is to know how many categories there will be. For the category, we have only two, the drink and the meal. So, we have options here, okay? So, we will combine a drink and the meal. Okay, we have two drinks and we have three meals. So first, we will use the bottled water for the ring. Option one, he will choose bottled water and veggie burger for the meal. Option two, bottled, part, bottled water and pancake. Option three, bottled water and pancit. Option number four, fruit juice and veggie burger. Option number five, fruit juice and pancake. And the last option is fruit juice and pancit. So in total, there are six ways that he can choose. It's not. So in order to find the, the possibilities, we can use the formula. Choices in the first event. In this case, our event is the drink. Choosing a drink times choices in the second event. That is... In this case, choosing a meal. That determines the number of possible ways that Anton can choose a snack and a meal. So, in choices in the first event, that is choosing a drink, we have how many choices? We have two choices. In choices, the man in the second event, choosing a meal, there are three choices. So, two times three, that is the number of possible ways, which is six. So we have six options here. So possible ways to choose drinks times possible ways to choose the meal. That is the total of possible ways in which Anton can choose his snack, which in this case is equal to six. There are six possibilities. Fundamental principle of counting. If there is a sequence of events that can occur in a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, until to a sub n ways, where a sub 1 is the number of ways of the first event, a sub 2 for the second event, and a sub n for the last event, then the total number of ways that the events can occur is a sub 1 times a sub 2 times a sub 3 times until to the last um, event, which is a sub n. So this is the fundamental principle of counting. So let's apply this one. 
Example. Teacher A1 prepared a short true or false test in calculus. If there are three questions given, in how many ways can a student answer the test? So here, we will need to determine the event. So in this case, our event is, is what? Is, um, is taking a test which is in the format of true or false. Okay, so taking a test which is in the format of true or false. So how many questions do we have here? We have three questions. So that means we have three events. That is the quiz one, uh, the question one rather, the question number two, and the question number three. Now we have true or false type of test. So that means we have two possible choices. The true or the false. So let's say true is T and F is the false. So let's say that in question number one, the answer is true. A student can choose true. Let's say question number two, also true. Question number three is also true. So this is one of the possible ways a student can answer the test. So another one is we have two true let's say question number three is false another true false true next is true false uh, false another one let's say false true true false true false true false true and last option is false false uh, false now, going back to the question, how many ways can a student answer the test? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight possible ways a student can answer the test, which is in the format of true or false. So using tree diagram, at a way of um, getting the answer for this is using the tree diagram. We have three questions. So question one, there are two options, right? Either true or false. Now for the question number two, we will get um, the true or false of each true false of question number one. So true will be paired with true or false. Same goes true with false, will be paired with true or false. In question number three, all of the true and falses of question number two will be paired with true and false. So that is true, 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 false. Same goes with F will be paired with true and false. Now counting all the possibilities, we will get, we will get true, 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 false, true, true, false, true. True, false, 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 true, true, false, true, false, and we have false, false, true, last one, all false. So with a total of eight possibilities. So using the fundamental principle of counting, we will use the formula choices in the first event times the choices in the second event times the choices in the third event. So in our first event, that is question number one, how many choices? Two, multiplied by the choices in the second event, which is also two, and multiplied by the choices in the third event, which is also two. So two times two times two is equal to eight. And there are eight possible ways a student can answer the test. This is the fundamental principle of counting. Now let's do this. How many outcomes are possible when a coin is two three times? Two, two identical coins were two simultaneously, and then a letter in the English alphabet was randomly drawn. How many possibilities are there? Let's solve for number one first. How many outcomes are possible when a coin is two three times? So here, let's make a picture. So let's picture this out. So in a coin, there are only two faces, one head and the other is tail, head and tail. So when you use a coin, 
the only possibility is that it will land is either face or um, either head or tail. So let's say on the first twist, second twist, and we have the three twist. So we have three events here. The first twist, second twist, and the third twist. Now in the first twist, let's say the outcome will be either head or tail. This is the only possibility of um, landing when to sing a coin. Now we will pair each uh, possibilities of the first twos to head or tail at the second twos. So this is and this is. Same goes through with the third twos. So each possibilities of the second twos will be paired with head and tail. That is. And the possibilities are three heads. Okay, so we have uh, two tails and one head. Tail, head, tail. Tail, head, head. Head, tail, tail. Head, tail, head. Head, head, tail. And three heads. So tail and heads here are inverse. Okay? So yeah, supposedly our tail here is the head. Okay, and the head here is the tail. Okay, so using the fundamental principle of counting, choices in the first event, we have only two. There are only two choices in the first twist. Times the choices in the second twist, which is also two. Times the choices in the third event, which is also two. That gives us a product of eight. So that means there are eight outcomes. Okay, there are eight possible outcomes when using a coin three times. That is the answer, eight. That's answer number two. Two identical coins were two simultaneously. And in a letter in the English alphabet was randomly drawn, how many possibilities are there? So let's identify our event. We have two identical coins, two sing and drawing a letter in the English alphabet. So our events are, we have to sing a coin, another to sing a coin, and we have drawing a letter in the English alphabet. Okay, so how many choices in the first twos? We have two, only head and tail. On the second event, there are also two choices, that is uh, head and tail. In the third event, that is drawing a letter in the English alphabet, we have 26, 26 English alphabet. So that means the possibilities are 2 times 2 times 26, and the answer is 104. So the answer is there are 104 possibilities. When choosing two identical coins simultaneously and drawing a letter in the English alphabet. 104 is the answer. Now your turn. So your answer must be put in the comment box. Then uh, in the next video, we will answer this your turn. So number one, there are four blood types, A, B, A, B, and O. Blood can also be Rh positive and Rh negative. Moreover, a blood donor can be categorized as male or female. In how many ways can the donor have his or her blood labeled as? Second, a school canteen offers value meals worth 60 pesos. A student has a choice of plain or fried rice, a main dish, and a dessert. Dessert. There are four main dishes. Chicken afritada, pork adobo, minudo, and fried fish. And three desserts. Boca pandan, fruit salad, and macaroni salad. How many different meal choices are possible? So again, kindly drop your answer in the comment box for this one. So answers will be revealed on the next video. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in the comment box. See you on the next video.